<laughs> Sketchy. Hey, welcome. Josh here. Welcome back to Sketchy. We're looking at my iPad today. More video game art. I had a strange urge to draw Luigi, Luigi Mario, famed brother of Mario Mario, uh, in my own style, in kind of a uh, action image, not not too not too dissimilar from some of you know some of my duck artwork. I'm thinking specifically of the launch pad drawing, just kind of taking a character and just coming up with my own uh, idea. And this is not the final drawing. This is simply like a fact finding there at the beginning. I just wanted to see what would Luigi look like in my style. And that's what I came up with. And then uh, it tweaks a little more as I draw. Now here, uh, this is greatly condensed. This is several hours of sketching and resketching to tr to finally arrive at this pose. Now it looks, that was only a few seconds, but that was such a long, and now here I'm trying the feet a million times. This was a real struggle to get somewhere. And now I'm already to the inking stage of the, of the final image and uh, I'm happy with it and all that. But I gotta say, this one was a fight and uh, to get where I'm going. And, but that's, that's okay. That's how it is. You know, when I'm following source material, when I'm drawing a portrait or, uh, or just trying to be true to a Disney design, like I do sometimes, those are more straightforward because you have source material and you know if you nailed it or not. Here, I'm trying to adapt this completely into my style. This isn't based on a particular image. You know, it's, it's uh, Luigi's mansion stuff. He's got the backpack and the flashlight and the boo uh, behind him, but none of it is based on, on, source material other than that's that stuff you saw at the beginning where I used uh, you know a kind of generic picture of current day Luigi just to figure out my own take anyway so I, I kind of imagined a more lanky uh, Luigi I wanted to stretch him out a little more he's a little more maybe like a Richard Williams kind of a style uh, I wish that I was uh, that gifted but uh, yeah these shoes even in the inking even you know for some reason, these, this kind of shoe, I just found a challenge. You'll see that I draw, I'm going to draw the uh, the left shoe multiple times, and then the right shoe as well here. Um, but I'll get there. I, I'm I'm very pleased with the final uh, picture. See that that was fine, but it wasn't. <laughs> it wasn't. That's fine too, but it wasn't. You'll you'll see where I finally landed on it, and I think I got there. But uh, I mean, this is really rough. I'm going to end up. I, I I don't know how many more times I erase these maybe it's just this one but that's not the final shoe that's not it also uh, i just there was some issues with uh with the size and the sy symmetry of of the thickness of the legs and stuff so this is yeah even even here even in the inking even when you've already worked out the composition uh there's still fights to be had but i i really enjoy this because this is a real workout as an artist um where there we go that's where i hit it that's where i got it um but this is you know it's wor working out my cartooning skills wait i thought i got it yeah there we go um and uh i learn a lot when i do drawings like this so i'm very happy for the rough journey so sometimes you have a rough session like this and then you don't have anything to show for it because you never feel like you got there so at least in this case i you know it's a, it's kind of disposable but i i end up with a um with a drawing that i'm happy with and here I am second guessing my line thickness and erasing the, the, the hatching in the eyebrows. But uh, I know that at this point that I'm definitely going to color this in. So I'm kind of making decisions based on that. Uh, I do enjoy video games. I am going to make more video game videos. I did a couple and the, the response was tepid, but I still have some things to say. And, and it's still an interest of mine that I would like to pursue here on YouTube. Uh, but this particular game, Luigi's Mansion 3, I, uh, I've played, you know, I played it to a certain degree. And then like all video games, I hit a wall. Um, you know, this is, this is kind of a general audience's game and it's not particularly hard, but in every Nintendo game and really in every video game, they, uh, establish, uh, I don't know, I don't need to go on a rant about video games in this art video, but let's just say, uh, they establish controls and gameplay a certain way, and if you like it, you like it, and you get going, and then at some point, they're going to throw you a curveball. At some point, they're going to say, hey, now it's a vehicle level, or hey, now you lost all your tools, or hey, now it's this crazy boss fight. And there's there's a particular boss fight in a in a pool, in a, a pool of water 
in uh, Luigi's Mansion 3, and I've not been able to get past that part. So, I don't know, whatever. I'm going to... Uh, that's one of the things I want to make a video about, is my relationship to video game difficulty uh, as a middle-aged, busy dad who came to video games uh, with no nostalgia and has limited patience and time. I love video games. I love playing them. I love what they can be and what they can do. But uh, I definitely <laughs> have opinions about uh difficulty and accessibility in particular anyway uh all right so now i'm coloring in uh this is my gra i guess I'll, I'll call this my graphite style with the textured color blocks and even this you'll see is a little bit of a struggle i, I felt like maybe uh, i wanted to put a shine on the tongue here uh and i just felt like i haven't done anything like that elsewhere really so uh, i end up changing my mind on that later but uh Coloring Luigi's pretty simple. Red backpack, green shirt, blue overalls. It's all pretty straightforward. Uh, this was a very satisfying day, ultimately, uh, for, for the struggle. I don't regret that there was a struggle um, because I came away with something fun. And now I get to share it with you. Um, yeah, this is the kind of stuff I want to do. Not necessarily drawings of popular video game characters but in terms of just being a cartoonist being an artist uh i'm as gratified by this maybe more gratified by this than with a portrait uh you know I, i'm a little bit uh, I, I had my my period where i've become obsessed with with portraits of actors and movie characters um and, and people respond to that and people enjoy it and that's fun but i think at my heart Cartoons are, are where it's at for me. And so this uh, scratches that itch. We are coming to the end of this process. I'm going to color in the overalls here, and then uh, I'm going to change my mind about that big purple boo tongue a couple times. But uh, we are swiftly approaching the end of the video, so I thank you as always for your time and attention. It is my pleasure to be here with you and share this with you. Um, drawing silly pictures on social media and then here on YouTube and talking about it is a distinct pleasure of mine. Thank you for tuning in and I will see you very soon with more sketchy. Uh, that's all I've got today. Thanks. Josh out.